I have no further questions. All right. Cross, Thank you, Dr. Moore. Cross-examination. Good morning, Dr. Moore. Good morning. You said you reviewed Mr. Depp's video deposition, is that correct? That's correct. And you said you reviewed Mr. Depp's testimony at this trial, correct? That's correct. And was that also a video of his testimony? Yes. Okay. And you testified that Mr. Depp demonstrated that his hand was flat on a surface, is that correct? That's correct. Okay. That's not entirely accurate, is it, though? No. Uh, his, his description was relatively uh, consistent in both, um, including turning and, and resting the hand on the, on the edge. Isn't it true, Dr. Moore, that when Mr. Depp did the demonstration in his deposition, he showed that his fingers were hanging over the bar? Well, uh, even hanging over the bar, it still leaves the dorsum of the hand or the nail vulnerable That's to... That's not my question, Dr. Moore. My question is, isn't it true that Mr. Depp said his fingers were not laying flat on a table, they were hanging over the bar. Yes. Okay. And in fact, you knew that when you made that opinion. Isn't that correct? Well, I, I believe that I, uh, as I demonstrated sitting here, that I said that he had, he had said they were slightly curled or slightly curled over, I think, was the description that I gave. Your description in this courtroom was that it was laying flat, and I think you've done that now twice. But in your deposition, you testified that his fingers were actually hanging over the bar. Isn't that correct? Objection, Your Honor. Misstates the witness's testimony. He oh. clearly indicated they were curled. Overruled. Could have been curled. Overruled. So that's a so so that's a distinction that that perhaps I um, misstated in one of the two descriptions. However, that does not substantially change my opinion of uh, the impact it would have on the mechanism. Isn't it true that Mr. Depp also testified that the bottle came from an off angle? Yes. Okay. And you consider that in rendering your opinions today, correct? Yes, I believe he stated that uh, it came from between six and ten feet. Uh, I think it was off to, I think he demonstrated it was off to his right. I can't recall specifically, but it was off angle, yes. So it didn't come from the top, as you previously testified just a few minutes ago, correct? Uh, well, no, it would have struck the, the top of the finger, but it may have been slightly off angle in its approach based on the description. Mr. Depp described it as off angle, correct? Correct. Right. Dr. Moore, just at the outset, your billing rate for providing deposition testimony is $1,000 per hour? That's correct. And you were deposed in this action for several hours on March 22nd, 2022? That's correct. And your billing rate for providing trial testimony is $5,000 per day? That's correct. You were retained in this case by Ms. Hurd's legal team, correct? Correct. And over the last few years, you've provided expert services for one of Ms. Hurd's law firms on at least two other cases, right? That's correct, yes. Dr. Moore, is it fair to say that you have no personal knowledge as to how Mr. Depp injured his finger in Australia, correct? Uh, no, I, I have no personal knowledge. My, my impression is based on his, uh, his description of the injury and the available medical records for review. But you weren't in Australia I, with I was, Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurt, correct? I was not in Australia, no. And, and so therefore you have no personal knowledge as to how that injury was sustained? Correct. You also never personally examined Mr. Depp's finger, did you? Correct. You didn't examine Mr. Depp's finger at the time it was injured? I did not. And you never provided any medical treatment to Mr. Depp in connection with this finger injury, did you? I did not. Now, you've testified that you identified Mr. Depp's finger injury as a crush injury, correct? Correct. And a crush injury is when a body part is crushed or trapped between two opposing firm surfaces, yes? Yes. And a crush injury to a finger can occur when a foreign object hits the finger, right? Yes. And uh, based on the pictures that you reviewed of Mr. Depp's finger injury, you cannot determine what particular object caused the injury to his finger. Yes? Uh, well, I, I, can't, I can't determine exactly what, what object did it. I think that um, I, can, I can say with confidence that the described mechanism of the bottle hitting and shattering the finger 
um, was not consistent with the appearance of the injury. I understand that. And My I think question it, is just very specific. You can't determine the object that caused the injury to Mr. Depp's finger. Well, it's, it's a little bit more of a, of a non-specific answer. I mean, I, you know, I, it, again, I, I can't determine the exact object, but I can determine that, that it's unlikely that it was uh, sustained in the manner described. A bottle is a foreign object, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So you can't rule out that the injury to Mr. Depp's finger was caused by a vodka bottle, correct? Well, based on the injury pattern, I can say that the described mechanism of injury is inconsistent with medical findings. Right. But because a vodka bottle is a foreign object, you can't rule out that a vodka bottle is what caused Mr. Depp's injury. Well, I, I can't rule out that a vodka bottle caused the injury, but I can rule out that it was caused in the manner described in his testimony. You can't rule out that the injury was caused by a knife, right? I think it's unlikely that the injury was caused by a knife. But you can't uh, rule it out. Well, if a simple knife laceration wouldn't impart the injury to the distal phalanx to result in the comedy of fracture. Um, now, a, a chopping type, uh, th but again, that would likely come from a direction that would that would create a dorsal uh, injury to create the fracture that was developed. Do you remember giving testimony in this case, Dr. Moore? Uh, deposition? Yes. Yes. Okay. And you were under oath, correct? Correct. All right. And that was on March 22nd, 2022, yes? Correct. Okay. May I approach, Your Honor? Yes, ma'am. Dr. Moore, may I please have you go to page 163 of your deposition, specifically line 17. One sixty-three. Actually, apologies, one sixty-four. Line four. Correct. Question, but you can't rule it out completely, right? Answer, I can't rule anything out completely. I can't rule out that he caught it in the door, cut it with a knife, or slammed it in the car door. Or, again, as Dr. Gilmer said, we can't definitively say what caused this injury. Did I read that correctly? You did. Okay. Your, Your Honor, I, but, uh, I would object as the, the incomplete impeachment. I think if she's going to read his answer, she also needs to read or give Dr. Moore the chance to read the paragraph below. She just picked out half of his answer. Uh, you, you can redirect. I'll, yeah, I'll as well the as the paragraph above. Uh, Dr. Moore, there's no question pending. Thank you, though. So you can't rule out that the injury was caused by a cord, car door either. Is that right? Correct. Okay. But it's your testimony sitting here today that you can rule out that the injury was caused by a vodka bottle. Is that your testimony? My testimony is that I can rule out the injury as caused by the mechanism described by Mr. Depp in his deposition. Okay. But you can't definitively say what caused the injury to Mr. Depp's finger. Well, the definitive injury is a crush injury, um, but, I, but it, uh, again, I, I, I can't say. I mean, I think it's... I think that, that it's quite likely that the initial uh, uh, mechanism described at the time of presentation of the accordion doors would, would classically create this injury pattern. You know, the, the hand up in front, if you picture accordion doors as the, in, as the edge is closed, if the hand's up, the palm is exposed, if the door's pushed, but, and the Dr. hand Moore, closes about the fingers. I understand that. But, but my I, question is... I think it's important that they understand that. This is the time for me to ask you questions. Your counsel will have the ability to rehabilitate you and ask you questions on redirect. Right now, let's try my question. Okay. You can't definitively say what caused the injury to Mr. Depp's fingers, yes or no? No. Okay. In conducting your analysis of Mr. Depp's finger injury, you did not attempt to reconstruct the incident. Is that right? Well, I think the, the incident was 
reconstruct it. You mean did I throw a vodka bottle at something? No, you're, no, Dr. Moore. I mean, you didn't do any type of accident reconstruction, either computerized or any, you didn't conduct no. any type of accident reconstruction of the alleged. No, that's correct. My opinion is based on the medical records and the clinical images and Mr. Depp's description. And, and your analysis is based on an understanding of how Mr. Depp described the exact positioning of his finger at the time of the injury. Yes? Yes. Okay. And your analysis is also based on the assumption that Mr. Depp's hand remained completely still in the instance that a vodka bottle was hurled at him. Yes? No. My assessment is on his description of the vodka bottle striking the top of his finger. But his hand stayed still, according to your an analysis. Yes? Uh, I, I guess it was still long enough for the bottle to hit it, but the natural reaction would be to try to pull away. When you perform traumatic finger surgeries, you inquire about the cause of the injuries, correct? Correct. And your best information on that is typically just the self-report of the patient, yes? Correct. And your assumption is that the patient is trying to get care, because the patient is trying to get care, that person, that patient, is generally telling the truth, right? You would hope so. Yeah. You reviewed Dr. Kipper's deposition testimony informing your opinion about Mr. Depp's finger injury, correct? Correct. Informing your opinion, did you consider Dr. Kipper's deposition testimony that while Dr. Kipper was providing emergency treatment Objection, for Mr. Depp? May we approach? Okay. Let's start over because it's important the jury hears this. So informing your opinion, did you consider Dr. Kipper's deposition testimony that while Dr. Kipper was providing emergency treatment for Mr. Depp's finger injury in Australia in the driveway of the house, Mr. Depp told him that his finger was injured when Ms. Hurd threw a vodka bottle at him. Uh, I, I, don't, I, I don't recall that from the deposition. I'd, I'd be happy to review it if you have the deposition available. Did you consider Dr. Kipper's testimony that he recalled that Mr. Depp's finger was found in the kitchen? I do recall that. So you must have also seen Dr. Kipper's deposition testimony that he wasn't the one who actually found the finger, correct? That's correct. Dr. Kipper testified that someone he thought was the chef told him he found the finger in the kitchen area, correct? Uh, I'm, I'm going to assume so without reading the deposition now. Did you review uh, any testimony from Ben King in rendering your opinions today? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. Did you see any of Mr. King's testimony at this trial? I did not. Okay. So you're not aware that Mr. King testified that he is the one who found Mr. Depp's finger, are you? No. And you're not aware that Mr. King testified that he found Mr. Depp's finger in the bar area, right? Correct. And you're not aware that Mr. King testified he found Mr. Depp's finger in a piece of tissue in the bar area, either? No. And you're not aware that Mr. King testified that multiple broken liquor bottles were also found in the bar area, right? Correct. If we could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 1817, which is already in evidence. And it may be published, please. I, I just don't have it yet. That would help. Yes. <laughs> I just have a blank screen at the moment. There we go. Oops, sorry, something. Thank there you. There we go. Okay. Have you ever seen this picture before, Dr. Moore? No. So you're not aware that this is the bar area where Mr. King testified he found Mr. Depp's finger? No. Okay. Do you see that broken vodka bottle in the back corner near the bottom of the bar? Yes. Do you see the blood drops on the floor? Yes. Can we please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 1820, which is already in evidence? Have you seen this picture before, Dr. Moore? I have not. So you're not aware that this is also a picture from the bar area where Mr. King testified he found Mr. Depp's finger? Correct. Do you see the bloody tissue on the ground at the bottom of the bar? Yes. Do you see the blood drops around that tissue? Yes. So you didn't consider any of this evidence in rendering your opinion about how Mr. Depp injured his finger in Australia, did you? I did not. Okay. 
Nothing further, Your Honor. Thank right. you. Redirect.